an update in the game. It's not finished yet, but there's been an update from the owner of the game, and I'm going to talk about this. So this is the high floor slash low floor line. Now, when I travel on this line, I'll drive this line on the trams, it is a bit of a pain in the butt because you have the high floor trams, which are here. And down here, you have the low floor trams. So this can get cause a bit of congestion on the trams and it's a pain in the butt. But because the busway has been cancelled in the game, the developers have decided to make the land of the old busway more useful. So come on, let's have a quick look at one of the new stops. Well, not new stops. There's a metro, um, a Shester's Coach tram just over there. So I'm just going to walk up Daybrook. So that's where the high, like the low floors are at. Come round here. Just watch it. That will be that will no longer be happening once this this line's finished. But just try and get this finished for you. Yeah, look, it's been moved on a separate line. So high floor, this will be a high floor only line. And Horn's getting a bit pissed off because. We share it. We 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 know too much, um, but as you can see, this is going to be a fully high floor line, and then the the the, the, the low floor line will be more street runnings than any, like like Sheffield and Birmingham itself. So they're making it more more real like realistic. High floors run more on the tracks of all train lines. You come down here at Daybrook, you pass the bus stop, the metro, and you'll see something. This is based off the old half of the old busway. So the busway thing disappeared a bit ages ago. And you just walk across here, you'll see a new Daybrook sign in blue, which is for the low floors. Come down here, and then you look at two platforms. Trying to not walk sideways. Here's two platforms of the new Daybrook low floor tram stop for Daybrook. It's not finished yet, but how I think it's going to be, he's going to get rid of the underpass, which is near Sherwood. This is going to probably go on the road, I don't know, probably on a dual carriageway thing and then on. But when you leave the tram stop, now it's, it's safe, all electric's been quick turned off. So you walk down here, I know I've already done a video of this, but I've got to talk on it. When you walk down here, this is the extended land from the old busway, as it's been cancelled. So you come down here, so you'll remember the busway video. And there was an echo bridge for, for Daybrook Bridge, which is, I call it Daybrook Bridge. And when you come down here, you will, you will see this is the bridge that the busway used to go under. So the busway used to go under here before it was cancelled. But now, Horns made me really happy that he's making a separate light for the low floors because I get really bored and annoyed with the high floor and low floor running from Arnold um Arnold area all the way where it gets to Sherwood it, it splits but that's that's a pain in the butt. So this new line will be absolutely brilliant as low floors and high floors will be completely separated. And yeah I mean it will be brilliant to have um uh, a, a big thing about this tram line, but yeah, this low floors are getting rerouted onto this new line to leave these the high floors to travel. Uh, but as you can see, it's going to take a lot of work because you've got to get rid of the pantographs and then pantographs. And but the tracks are in place, not all of them though, but it's only from Arnold. 
to Sherwood, where the underpass is in Sherwood. So, to me, this is going to be an absolute cool thing. So, the industry away stop will be switched over to this side, which is at the bus, old busway stop. And there's a bus travelling on there. What the frick? Talk about war. That was a bit unexpected. So, the old busway has gone. And it's now disappeared. It's thin air. It's no longer uh, a thin anymore, which is kind of sad. But they've used it. To make it a low floor line only. So low floors running the high floors will not be happening anymore once this is opened. And there's floating trees. Which is funny. Floating trees. So that stop will be moved over here. I'm going to have a lot. Because low floors get more popular. So uh, this is the old busway stops. As you can see, you can see industrial way only so that it will then end and then connect at, I think it will then connect to the ha the low floor line. That's what I'm thinking, Alan, let's just walk. I'm going to do an aerial view. Uh, I wonder what everyone's saying. Oh, look, you can also see some old busway track. Where it went from there. As you would have thought, the busway actually did start from there. And has circled all the way around. And used to circle all the way around to here. But because it's a tram line, it needs to connect. No connections, a big no-no. So as you can see, on the right we've got the high floor, and on the left we have the low floor. But yeah. Unfortunately, the high floor service is more popular. So as you can see, we're coming to the end of the tram line now. As you can see, I'll try and move forward for you guys. So I'll just pull a bit more forward. As I've said, and I've just seen how it's going to work out because I like tram infrastructure. So if you can see, that's Arnold Square, where the high floors run. And that's Arnold St. Holmes, which is a, 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 Christ, a church. So how it works will be, I'm guessing, this tram line here will divert from here or somewhere around here and connect to these branches to leave this independently running i don't know if it's gonna be a new depot here for the low floors but yeah that sounds interesting <laughs>